Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here. I'm back in Stanley Parable. Um, I'm going to be going to the part where it's all the way when you follow everything he says and then you go to the escape. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to do that real quick for us. And then after that part is over, then when it starts over again, I'm going to do the opposite of everything he says. So we're going to piss him off then. <laughs> so that should be fun. So I will see you guys when I get there. Chris, I'm so sorry. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. <laughs> so he turned around and got back on track. Shut up. I'm sad. No, I can't find Chris. I'm so sad. I failed you. Okay, we're back down here. And this Stanley time. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm sorry. I can't. I have to go through escape. I promised I would. <laughs> Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? What? Keep me on this and push me. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go down here then. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Does he say something if you, um... If you go back through it? Does he say something? I want to see real quick. Let's see. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Nope. No, he doesn't. Nope. Still on board with death. He's going to say something else. Yeah, I'm still on board with death. Let's go. <laughs> I've lived long enough. At least Stanley has. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good lord, this is a long hallway. See, this is when I need a run button. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pipe. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. interesting so oh my oh shit oh I'm dead this is why I don't have a jump button as the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever Stanley can't see the bigger picture he doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh my god, no! No. Oh, shit! Oh! It broke! I broke it. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah! The boxes. Sure, why not? Let's go towards the light. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I like how we have a new When narrator. every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? 
That's my office. That's my computer! Can't do anything? Of course, why the fuck would I be able to do anything? Office layout. The bleh. <laughs> office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path of Stanley's office to two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered through. Okay, sorry. My dogs are making noises behind me. And altered throughout development through the core layout. Though the... Fuck. Though the core layout remains almost identical to the... Okay. Come on. For some reason, my dog decided to go under the bed. I don't know why. Nature paintings. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's the two doors. Corridor. The, the pacing of the the pacing of this opening of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make the player make sure the player reaches the two doors in good time. That's funny. And there's the two doors. Hmm. The two doors, the set of two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it and exploration of the, what the fuck? Whatever. Um, oh shit, hi. The office. Can't open any of those. Hmm. But yeah, button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard strokes and okay, really? Uh -huh. What's this? My desk? No, that's just one of the desk. Okay. Fine cabinets. Okay. Office computers. Ooh. Solitaire! Let's play! Okay. Can't read any of that. Oh, here's the credits here. Just Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you want to see more credits? Just pause it and read it better. Ooh, the office. Oh. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Okay. Well, hold on. What's. Oh my! Oh my. Uh. Okay. Horror zone? Okay, war zone. An early, early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentinel and sentinel and would rage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for tone of the game. Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not her intention. <gasps> okay. Well, that actually would have been kind of cool, but, you know, okay. <laughs> Oh my. What does it say? Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator questions. While we had initially planned to use those in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Wow, you can't really read it. 
Okay. Oh. Wow. Wow, it just really goes by fast, okay? Take off this. The lounge. Cargo lift. The second version is functional it's functionally the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted to look wanted it to look more like a place for cargo actually stored. Okay. I haven't I guess I'll be going to that eventually one time. Ah, oh, sorry. Cargo lift. The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Hm. The apartment time. What the fuck? Um. Okay. In a previous version of the ch of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Now picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh, that's kind of cool. Probably should stop reading these, because then I'll see all the options. But I guess at least now I'll know there's all these options. Option one. What? It's all the same. Wait, no, it's not. I probably shouldn't look at these. Um. Hmm. Probably should walk away. <gasps> Ooh. I'm sorry. I can't read anymore. It's just it's bothering me. I'm getting tired of reading now. <laughs> The game is now paused. Oh lord. Um. Okay. I don't know if I like that. It doesn't see me. Ah! Get me! Give me buttons, give me buttons, give me buttons. Oh, it's a countdown desk. I'll be, I'll go over there and y'all can like read it, but I just, I, did, I don't want to sit here and have to read everything. I don't want to go to the exit yet. I wanted to go. Huh, there was another, wasn't there? What the fuck? He doesn't know how to count down. So many fucking places I can go. What the fuck? Hmm. Wait, oh, so I'm done. I'm back. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's what it used to look like. <laughs> well, okay. Then he pushed the number four. Oh, I missed this. Office clock. The most important thing in the world. Alright, let's go back up. 
freedom ending. I got the freedom ending. Alright. So we'll go to that in just a second. That was a pillar. Um what the fuck? Oh, it's a mock up. It's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just where it was. Um, left to right, okay. That's what it used to look like. And then I went to that. And this is what it is now. Okay, so it's like that, but just with one monitor and more shit around. Okay. Alright, so now, yeah. Because I, I went down there first. That's where I was. Okay. Sorry if this was a little bit boring, but I mean, it was interesting to see. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. But what I was saying before she interrupted that um it is nice seeing the process it went through uh oh can you see can you see how much they need one another Maybe. no perhaps not sometimes these things cannot be seen but listen to me you can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let it- <laughs> Okay, it's paused. <laughs> um... Okay, I, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, I had a, I had a phone call. I had to take it because it was my mom. So, sorry about that. But, ooh, I don't know with this thing if I have to let it kill me, or if I literally have to go quit to menu, and something actually happens. I don't know. I really just want to hit resume game. And just let it kill him. <laughs> Um, I guess right now I'll just let it resume game. Maybe I'll check later and see if you have to actually click the menu and see if something actually changes. So, bye, Stanley. We knew you well. Fine. <laughs> Smoosh. Oh well. I'll have to check later and see if it actually does do something different. Hello? I think I hear music. Um. I, I I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. That happened. Um, this time we're going to do the opposite of everything he says, and I guess I'll have to go back and check and see if it actually worked. But, yeah, okay, let's All go. All his co workers <laughs> were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, goodness, that was very interesting. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I don't know my left and my right. Maybe? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. 
I went in there. God damn it. Whoa, hold on. 4B9? What? <laughs> That's a lot of numbers. <sighs> ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I would drink it all in, but $1.25 for a fucking drink? You kidding me? Is there a quarter in there? Or is there yes. Thing? Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. God, I wish I could read that. I can't. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. That's not nice. Ugh. Sorry, I had to fix my headphones. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Feel. Not sending me a message. It just thinks it's sending me a message. Gonna say anything else? Wow, that's like a big. Oh, you should really have a step there. <laughs> All right. Uh... Are they not gonna be anything else? But at last, yeah. he had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, I should. Oh my God. No, I said everything. I would not do anything he told me to do. So I have to come back and go there now. Good God! So many options. Caution, do not lie. If you are lying, stop right now. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, it's the cargo thing they were talking about last time. Or, not last time. Well, actually, yeah, I was reading a thing for it. I have... Ooh, oh, God, God, give it to me. So, oh, and there's so many choices that you can possibly do. So, um, you come back here a few times. Warning, do not jump from cargo, from the cargo lift while in motion will cause death. Pen, pen, bleh, penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Maybe I jumped in. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Next time I'll let the cargo lift take me. Yes, there is danger everywhere! Oh no, I'm staying on the wrong side again! Oh, look, colored Now doors. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm colorblind. What am I supposed to do? I'm colorblind. I'm just kidding. Because apparently only guys can be colorblind. Or something. At least that's what one of my t-shirts said before. Okay, he's telling me to walk through the red door, so I'm going to walk through the blue door. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. 
Stanley walked through the red door. No. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. All right. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first that place. Beautiful. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for yes, you? Yes, beautiful. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game you better? You don't want to know my desires. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. Whoa! There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Great, so now I have to come back here and go through these two doors. So many options. Sure, why the hell not? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Should I give him five out of five? Let's give him five out of five. Why the fuck not? Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? I told you! Well, it's instinct mostly. <laughs> the calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from except that... I I felt it in my soul. Oh, really? You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. What the... Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, what the hell? Where am I? No! Ah! Oh, Lord. Really? Okay, sorry about that again. This time it was my dad calling me. I don't know why everyone thinks they have to start calling me all of a sudden. Lord. Uh, can I go back through here? Ah! Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers. Hell yeah! Honest. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would oh. you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I am sorry about all the freaking phone calls. It's Saturday, so I don't know why everyone has to- What the fuck? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh my god! I'm definitely gonna have to turn this down for you guys, it's so freaking loud. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Bad baby! Bad! Stop it! Don't make me have to hurt you! Bad! Stop it! Stay! No! Bad baby! No! Stop! No! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm gonna put you back in the corner! Stop it! Fuck you, baby. 
bad baby. Why? I, I won't let you go in the fire. I swear. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. I should let you go in the fire. Stop it! No. 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 Go touch the fire. Get close to it. No. Touch the fire. You didn't like that, did you? No, you didn't. So stop it. Stop. You know what? I hate you. Go to fire. Go. See if I care. Really, burn. Bad baby. You heartless bastard. The bad baby. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a oh shot. God, where you put me in? That was a bad baby. Baby needs to learn its lesson. <laughs> Let it walk into what the fuck? Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where? Oh. This will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes. It's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. You made a dirt house. Oh, Lord. Isn't that everyone's first house? That or a hole or a cave? What if I don't want to go inside your house? Huh? What if I don't want to go inside your house? The clouds are actually moving. Amazing. Okay. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Freedom! I don't want to go mining. Oh, they actually get the sound too. Oh no, I can't go to the beach. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I don't know, there's coal. There's a tree up there. Let me go get it. <laughs> Look, mushrooms! God, I haven't played Minecraft in like oh, no, years. No, 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 this is far Not more years, open ended than I had. Oh, imagined. actually, yeah, a year I'm now. for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. No, but I think it has been like a year now since I have played it. <laughs> oh my god. Hurry up. Oh my god, I'm in Portal! <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the no. hell this is. I'm gonna do what I always do. Put it in the toilet. And I want the radio! God damn it! Give me don't want that. Give me the fucking radio. Give me the radio! There. Mine. Oh, we didn't get to go through a portal. 
<laughs> My god, I love Portal. And Portal 2. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Hello. Genius. There's no emancipation grid. I can take it! No, actually. No! I think that's plenty. No! I really don't care much to see you stumble <gasps> through any it more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. I'm sorry, the fucking elevator took my goddamn radio! I'm going. Oh my god. Does he have the fall boots on or something? I mean, really. <gasps> I fell! Oh shit. Oops. This carpet sounds very plush. Kinda dark. Hey, two doors. Cause I've been through there. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to go back to my office. Ah! Stuck on a fucking corner. Okay. The light! Ooh. I'm getting close. Very, very close. My office! Oh my. Can I do anything? Hmm. Ah! I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Are you sure you can wait? Wow. <laughs> that was the ending? Yep. It was. So I guess next time I'll go and um, choose the different ways. But I, I just want to again apologize for all the phone calls. I don't know why everyone decides they want to call me now but I guess because it's Saturday and she's like oh they're not doing nothing <laughs> so but um 
So next time we come back, we'll do the other ways that I was talking about during this. So for now, bye guys. I will talk to you later.